All right, hey guys, how you doing? I am back down in my property in South Florida, and I just wanted to do a quick video on a project that I had worked on already by adding solar panels to my storage shed. Uh, as everybody knows, South Florida is very expensive, and I did have some items at a climate controlled storage unit. It was about a 10 by 10, and it was 125 bucks a month. So. Uh, I decided to build a storage shed and put climate control on it myself and I added some solar panels to help reduce the cost of that climate control addition into uh, into my storage shed. So just a real quick video on, uh, on my solar array and how I mounted it and uh, hope you enjoy. I've got four panels up here on my shed. They're 12 volt panels, they're 200 watts each. Uh, they should be putting out about 800 watts however because i'm on the north side of my roof and not the south side i don't get full sun uh, at the angle that i i need it to to be uh, however this was the best place for me to set this up on the other side there's too many trees and just no sun at all i got these u-channel galvanized uh, steel rails from the orange box store and uh, they're about 22 dollars a piece grounding is also very important this I believe is uh, six or eight gauge copper wire. You have to ground every single one of your rails uh, for the panels to be properly grounded. And how I mounted them off the roof was that those are actually uh, PVC couplings, a three quarter inch PVC couple. I have washers on the top side and the bottom side of those. I just drilled right into the rafter, the roof rafters on my ceiling uh, underneath. I put some roof roofing cement in the hole and underneath that's why you see that black stuff and it's offered a watertight seal. Uh, the mounting, the panels were mounted by some hardware. I'll go inside and I'll show you how I did that. Uh, the wiring is not put together. I mean, it, it's hooked up, but it's just temporary. I still have to run it through the electrical PVC conduit uh, just to give it that clean finished look. Okay, I'm on the inside of my shed. I've got my head unit here. This is a premium head unit. It's a pretty decent head unit. Uh, it was bought off of eBay. It was $450. It was more than that, but I did a best offer, and he accepted $450, and I picked it up locally. So I'm happy with it. It works. It, it works really well. As you can see, that I insulated the inside of my shed. Uh, the ceiling is insulated with two-inch thick uh, foam board insulation and that works really well so the climate in here stays uh, really well regulated uh, right now it's about 90 something degrees outside I have this set at 80 it's very nice and comfortable inside the shed here I have my watt meter it's currently saying 51 watts I don't know I don't really buy that it's got to be more than that but I'm not really happy with my grid tie inverters these are my grid tie inverters you know they're cheap i bought them also off of ebay they say they're good for up to a thousand watts as you can see this is is the fan is running on this and it's only running 50 watts so again i'm not happy these are getting upgraded they worked for a short time last summer they're not really working all that great uh this year so they've probably already used their life <clears throat> i have the the cable's coming into a disconnect box from the disconnect box it goes into the inverter this one is not hooked up right now because i was testing different uh, different hookups on the inverter but it doesn't really matter because these are getting replaced okay this is how i mounted my solar panels the solar panels have a hole that's roughly two feet apart so there's a hole here and there's a hole up here and i widened these holes and used a 3 16 inch bolt and obviously, I measured the uh, the center hole uh, from this hole to that hole, got the center measurement, and then that's how far I spaced my channels apart when I mounted them on the roof. I widened these holes with a half-inch drill. You got to be really careful. You got to start the drill before you go into the hole, because if you if you have the bit stopped and then you turn the bit on it will feed right through here and you'll go right through the back of your of your panel you don't want to do that i didn't do that but it almost happened to me i was able to stop it before it did so start your drill bit before you start drilling and then just go into here really easy and widen that hole so I use a 3 8 inch washer on the inside i put it through the hole and then i mount it through these things come with that u-channel that i showed you uh, well, they don't come with it, but they're in the same section that the U-channel is. Uh, I believe they come in a packages of four, 
and you want several of these packages, uh, each panel will take four to mount. So one package per panel, basically. So you put it through here, and then you just, just screw it on like that. And then I also put a bolt on the bottom side of that just for extra protection, you know, wind vibration or whatever, so that can't back out of there. So it's in here like this, and these things will fit perfectly in that channel. So these work really well, and that's how I mounted them to the channels. All right, so efficiency of this of the system, it definitely helps. When I installed the system without the PV array, my electric bill skyrocketed. It went up over $300 a month. I think it was like $347 a month uh, the first month that I had it on here. And then I bought the, the array. I installed it uh, nine days into the cycle, and my next bill went down to two um 280 something so almost a hundred dollars it went down and then my next full month of use it was less than two hundred dollars which was huge now was it all because of the solar array that i installed no it wasn't because i was also taking extra steps and being more careful with what kind of electricity that i was using inside my house as well so i was being more conscious about leaving my computers uh on overnight i was turning them off i was turning off my roku device uh, because that just runs all the time. I was turning off my, my Wi-Fi router and just being more conscious about what lights I was leaving on inside the house uh, if I wasn't using them. So if I turned on a light, I made sure that I turned it off after I was done in that specific part of the room. Uh, so those things definitely helped as well. I don't believe that the solar array uh, reduced my electric bill by $150 a month. I don't think that's an accurate statement. I believe that it's saving me at least 75 bucks a month at least uh, so I think that's a, a safe number to assume uh, kilowatts uh, per hour or kilowatt hours uh, since I've started this have been let's see here over 5500 kilowatt hours which is a lot now I've had the system now for almost a year not quite a full year but that's uh, that's a lot of kilowatt hours in a, in a year and that definitely adds up over time uh, I'd say that uh, the total cost of the system cost me around $1,000. The solar array for the initial system I bought were three panels, um, and the, it was $460 for the three 200 watt panels. Um, the grid tie inverters were about $100 each, a little bit less than $100 each. And the hardware, the mounting hardware, the U-channel, and the other nuts and bolts and cables and things added up to another several hundred dollars. So I've got about a thousand dollars in the in the system, and I calculated it that it would take me about twelve months, thirteen months to recuperate my my initial cost. And we're about at that point, almost not quite. Any electricity that I get will now be free electricity. So I'm really excited about that. However, <laughs> I did just recently buy four new panels because I'm planning to expand the system. Uh, I really want to uh, to to kind of get as much dependency off of the power company as possible. So uh, my plan is to try to produce uh, as much power as my house will consume, uh, or just slightly less than that, because I don't want to produce more power than my house will consume. So I have 1,400 watts uh, capability in solar panels now. They're not all hooked up. I only have about 800, 800 of those hooked up. Uh, I'm upgrading my my grid tie inverter to a more dependable and reliable and efficient grid tie inverter, and um, we'll see how that works. But uh, if you like the video, if it's helped you at all, if it was interesting in whatever way it might be interesting to you, give that like button a little tickle, the subscribe button just a just it just needs a little click. You know, you don't have to smash anything around here. Just a little click, a little tickle on that like button. And we'll see you in future videos. All right. Have a great one. Bye.